we're gonna rip apart a washing machine. Yeah, we've got to figure out Man in Boots's sled. Yeah. Andrew, let's go. Would you help me find my peeps? <laughs> Your peeps? Peeps. Oh. That's what the, the whole movie centers around peeps. You know? This movie? Newsies. Oh. Ours too. <laughs> Don't oh no. <laughs> just tuck Horrible it. things are happening. <laughs> just tuck it. Don't ever throw it. <laughs> yeah, tuck it's it. It's awful, Weston. You're going to be full of fiberglass. <laughs> My skin. <laughs> Gosh. Now you broke it. Here, Andrew. What's that? Use these gloves. You don't, you don't hurt those precious riding hands. Do we start with this foundation? I think it's a good one to start with, personally. I like the shape of it. I like the way it looks, ultimately, and it'll give us something good to build on. Because it has hooks and spaces, you know, like little things like that where we can attach things and bolt it on so we have more to play with. I think it's a good frame. Yeah. So the, the biggest balance that I think we have to try to achieve is how do we get it to feel like he put it together? But, I mean, again, it's not like this steampunk junk. So we have a lot of pieces that we could potentially use. Is this an old refrigerator? No, it's a... Uh, oh, this is a dishwasher. Dishwasher. All right. So we got these barrels, we got the drums. We've got all this metal. So like we can build the metal, or we can bend it. Yeah. Okay, so we can do a frame out of wood that we could screw into here and then bend the sheet metal around it. That's what I was thinking. It would be easier to do, I think, because it would give us something to hammer against. Yeah. Just turn the thing upside down, set the metal against it, bolt it in where we want it, and then hammer it until it into the shape we want, bolt it in again. What do you think of that? I like it. And then just like the fan blade flies off, you know? We need like a piece of paper. You wanna go up and grab a piece of paper? Sure. So if we're doing two and a half feet, do we want those edges to come up straight like they were? Yeah, I think it would on look the good. Sides. I like how we had that kind of uh, slightly octagonal shape, you know? Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. And I, I, I just wanna, flat. I wanna make the edged part smaller. Yeah. So I think like the whole width, the whole length of that edge should be like six inches. Yeah. So it's like, um, I don't know, a foot and a half, six inches, six inches. Mm -hmm. um, and then that gives us our two and a half feet. Yeah, I think that'll look good. Okay, cool. Then let's draw that out. Okay, okay. now here's a question. Yeah. I don't want it to look like it was designed by different people, right? Yeah. I like having the hose down here at the bottom. So I think we keep that. So we'll do three structures, right? Yeah. Them as they are. Conk. Oh, that's perfect, man. It's actually good because if it was wider, we wouldn't be able to fit into the lens yeah. at a 35. And it still gives us the option, if we want, that we can attach yeah. more metal to the outside of there. We kind of have the structure of the sled in place. So we've got these trays that we just want to fill up with components of all the years that Man in Boots has been collecting stuff. Rip everything apart and then piece it back together to make it look kind of alien. Ooh, dude, that laser printer tray is pretty sick. Yeah. This one right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My goodness, I got blue on my finger. Oh, no! Oh, my gosh, dude. dude. What'd you do there? Tried using uh, the toner as a hammer, and <laughs> it came out on me. <laughs> it's really a clean job, and no paint gets on you at all. Do you like the brush strokes, Weston, or do you not like them? Um, I think they look good. I mean, they add texture to it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. That way, when we're done with the painting, it will look like a, a sheet of metal. It's very important this piece looks convincing, because it's kind of part of the opening shot.
I think I broke it. This one's drilled its last hole, or at least for today. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Yeah, it's a little bit messy. And then right there. We have exactly seven days before we start the principal photography for chapter one, um, which is exciting and nerve wracking at the same time. Hey, you guys can check out our Patreon page. We got some pledge rewards not donations, uh, including music from behind the scenes, music from the actual movie. It's gonna be pretty dang sweet. We've got some really cool people doing some really cool music. Check it out. <laughs>